looks to be all over. Yes, and I'm certain Robert was hoping for a better result 39. than he had in the UK, which I keep referring to when Ronnie beat him 6-0, but it's looking like deja vu. He's had his chances, as he did in the UK. But if, even if they're only half chances, 45. he knows against the quality of Ronnie, you've got to take them. 46. But what a marvellous break this has been. When he was left with the opening red, I said uh, pink and black weren't available. It's going to be very difficult. And as you say, Steve, a couple of shots later, you're thinking, what's all the fuss about? 53. Ooh. Tried to pinch a bit to hold for the black, and it's cost him. So, Robert, can you get a frame on the board? Oh. Mm, it's all just nearly, but not quite. Focus slightly. Another ball I didn't expect him to miss. So this is probably a last chance saloon One. for Robert. Seven. Eight. Could have just done with that cue ball bouncing out a fraction. Fourteen. It just bounced an inch off the cushion. It's been so much easier and also to control the cue ball. He's knocked it in. He's not really a difficult ball on the table, and he won't need the awkward black. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Mm, that seemed to fly off the side cushion there. He played for the blue. May have second thoughts now. To include in the pink 27. required to win the frame. Certainly, this packed Alexander Palace crowd will really give him a good reception if he can just pop this blue and the pink to get his first frame on the scoreboard. Oh, he's missed a couple of chances to win this frame and match, so just the pink required. In it goes, he's got a frame on the board, and you can see the delight at the fist pump. Ronnie had his chances. It should have been over, but it's not. And Robert Milkins will be sitting there mighty relieved. He's got a frame on the score board, but he still trails.
5-1.